Now, in this video, I want to teach you how to play Roy. Roy is actually one of my favorite characters in Ultimate. I feel like I'm really comfortable with his playstyle. I feel like Roy actually has the potential to be the best swordsman in the entire game. He, I think he's that good. If not, at least at the wor very worst, he's top three swordsman in the game. So he's a very, very strong pick that if you, for example, you're a fan of the character or something like that, I feel like you should really give him a go. So Roy's main strength in this game is that he's been buffed beyond belief in terms of his aerials. So all of his aerials have much less cooldown than they ever have. As you can see in general, he's extremely fast and you can actually swing around in the air. He also does a good amount of damage per hit. In general, he does a lot of damage and he's really dangerous to get hit by. But the main thing that I really like about him is the fact that he has a very strong combo game. He's the kind of character that can basically just hit you once and just keep hitting you and hitting you and hitting you. And it's actually really hard to get out of his strings. He does a lot of damage and if you're a heavy character, he can just keep neutraling you and comboing you off the level. And a lot of his combos also drag you off the level. For example, anytime he does neutral strings and whatnot, he always ends up dragging you off the level, which is really strong because Roy is really good at the ledge. He's really good at covering the ledge range and making sure people don't come back off the level. This means that every time he gets a combo, which all of them happen from his normal spacing moves like upper, neutral, and the like, um, he can just drag you off the level into a position where he's really good at. So this makes Roy really strong from the get-go. He's really good at just hitting you once in neutral, dragging you off the level, edge guarding you, killing you, putting you at the ledge and just making you uncomfortable. Then you get force smash and then you die really early. Like that happens a lot when you fight uh, Roy and it's one of his biggest strengths. Another really good strength about Roy is the fact that he has so many different kill moves. His forward kill is a kill option. His up kill is a kill option. Up smash. All of his smash attacks are a kill option. Force smash moves notably ridiculously strong. Down smash as well. It's it's just a lot of his options are just really, 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 really strong. So it's like, it doesn't really matter what you're hitting with. Back air, forward air, even upper can kill as well. So it's like, and he has a powerful spike as well. So he has so many options where, where he can just simply kill you with ease. I also feel like almost his entire moveset is very useful. Every single one of his tills and arrows have a use. For example, his down tilt, you can use it to poke around to win neutral. You can just run up to someone and down tilt. A higher percent, you can also use it to send someone into a tech chase position. Let me show you. As you can see, that's a very powerful strategy that you can use into a kill setup. As well, Dantel is used for a low percent to win neutral and a half percent to set up a kill. Porto covers around the ledge and it kills really early. Optos also kill option that you can do at a run in. as an anti aerial as well. All of these aerials are beyond amazing. Neutral air can win neutral. Border also uses neutral and also has a combo extender. Upper is really good to juggle. Um, Roy has the ability because of his very high mobility compared to any other swordsman. He can kind of just shark you from under, and he doesn't really let you land if you just keep spamming uppers. It's mainly because you can just kind of just run up here like this. If you have good aim and you know how you understand how to juggle and how to chase the points in the air, it's actually really hard for someone to land. And his spike is just powerful nonetheless. Like if you land this move at 60, 50% off the level, you're going to kill them. In terms of his grab combos, his down throw is a combo option. So you can just down throw into neutral at many percent. For example, that's a very basic combo. You grab them at zero and then you go for down throw neutral air. Hit to forward it, and there you go. You did a whole bunch of damage. <laughs> and if people air dodge, you can just, for some reason, if you do it slowly, they air dodge, you can just chase them up, do a side B. Remember, the downwards version does more damage. You want to go for the downwards version. And the forward version is the kill option. As you can see, that kills very early as well. Um, even though the computer was not uh, trying to survive longer there by using DI, 
um, that will still kill a human player at 90% or 100%. So that's incredibly strong. And it's a very uh, potent burst option because Roy can kind of just dash up to you and then just, just do it. And then if you're not ready for it, you're dead. And that's really dangerous. All his other throws are not that notable. Up throw isn't really anything special that you're going to be using. If you, There's almost no reason for you to use up throw. You should always be using down throw. It puts them always, always in a better spot. Fourth throw, though, you can use it to send people off the level. Same as back throw, so they have a use. Back throw, though, has really low knockback, as you can see. It sends them at this angle where it's kind of awkward for them to recover. So you can kind of use back throw to bait out a double jump, which I think is a very good option. Some very basic combos that you can do. For example, if they're at zero you can, and you line a jab, you can go for side B right after it. That's a very basic combo. That works pretty consistently. You can also go for jab into a grab, which leans lands into neutral air. And then you can juggle right after that. I feel like those are his main combos. You pretty much want to run at your opponent, jab, go for a side B, jab, go for a grab, down throw into combo. Those are your main very basic bmb combos that you're going to be using for a lot of matches and they're going to be your main source of damage damage just in general really so you better have to get used to it it will really help you long term roy can also do combos out of the first hit of his neutral so you can land the first hit of neutral into a jab and if you as you already know if you land jab you can land a grab you can also land a neutral or a side B. So it connects the rest of these moves that as well. Upper can also, if you land upper at low percents, you can also combo. Forward also combos. If you land at zero, if you land with forward at zero, you can immediately follow up with a side B. And if you're quick enough, it can combo as well. Jab is not quick enough though. Unless you dash after them afterward. Like you can kind of like border, dash after them, jab, and go from there. And it works really well. Like, as you can see, Roy is the kind of character, he's pretty freestyle. Like, a lot of his move link links into each other. So it's really easy to get combos going in general. It always feels really easy to just get one thing going with Roy. You land this one move, leads into this other move, leads into the usual move that you want to land, into a bunch of combos. That's kind of how it really usually goes. Other than that, Roy's neutral is always going to be cross up neutral air. That's one of your best friends. You pretty much just sure up towards your opponent, you neutral air, and you land behind them. You want to land behind them, and then you can turn around and forward tilt to pressure. You can turn around jab or down tilt. If they stay in shield, you can turn around grab. All those options are really, really useful. Now, off the level, Roy is. Roy can edge guard, but you have to be careful. You can't go too far. You kind of go like this far, and then you have to be careful when recovering. If you do it too far, you overextend a little too much. For example, like this, then you can die. So you have to be careful. At the ledge, I recommend going for down tilt. Down tilt to make people go up, get off the level. You can also hit people under the ledge with force smash. The sweet spot, actually. If you time it correctly, it's a very specific range like around here. You can land it as well. Um, you can also use jab to see if when if they jump, you can just jab them away or fourth throw them away. All these options work really well. And if they roll behind you, you can just up the other shield. Also, up the other shield does a ton of damage as well. So it's an option that you definitely want to land as often as possible. Like if someone crosses you up from behind, your up the shield does a lot of damage. It doesn't really kill, but it's just that amazing out of shield option that does a lot of damage. It's really convenient. And it really adds up to Roy's gameplay if you up the other shield as much as you can, whenever you can, really. Other than that, Roy is a pretty aggressive character. You're going to be dashing all over the place. I think he's really fun to play. He works really well as an aggressive character. And honestly, he's one of my best characters as well. So I really like him a lot. So if you guys have any more questions about Roy, let me know in the comments below. Or feel free to tweet at me at Zero Wondering as well. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Best of luck in the battlefield with Roy. <laughs> and I hope everything goes right. All right, you guys have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, wherever you're watching this video. Have a wonderful one. And there was no greater pleasure in life than getting a Nintendo console for Christmas when you really wanted one, like a 64, a GameCube, or, or, or the Wii. Like, for Christmas season, it's just it's special. So, guys, I'm giving away two Nintendo Switch Ultimate Bundles for Christmas. Hit the Gleam link in the description below. Follow all of my social media. 
subscribe to me with Twitch Prime to get extra entries, or if you're already a loyal subscriber, enjoy those free entries as well. Guys, win the Switch for Christmas. I'm going to ship it out right before Christmas, December 20th, so you guys can have that right in time. Thanks for watching once again. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.